when it comes to food, I try. I try to be healthy. But I also know that occasionally I'll do McDonald's and stuff. But don't judge. This video is for anybody that wants to focus on their health and what they eat, how they cook it, they want to change their lifestyle, and also for people who maybe have a little bit of cash to spare and want to invest in good cookware. Hey people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Caroline for Kalicious Loves. In today's video, as you can see, I'm in the kitchen, the new kitchen. If you did not see my last video where I said we've moved, go and check it out. I will give a whole tour there. We are unboxing and kind of like washing and showing you my cookware that I started investing in hmm, four years ago. <laughs> this cookware cost me five grand. Yeah, I will not lie. It's not something that I paid for in one go. I had to pay in installments. So, this video might not be for you. You might just be watching, you know, sipping some tea, that's fine. You know, um, I think people should have the option to spend their money on what they wanna spend it on. It's called Salad Master. And the reason why I bought this, um, first things first, these are not pots that you can find online. You have to buy them from an authorized dealer. So you can go on their website and maybe put in your postcode, it will give you contact information of the dealer closest to you. Salad Master Pots. Why Salad Master Pots? For me, health is wealth. I mean, if you're gonna sell me something that says, <laughs> This is gonna be good for you, not like to make me slim down, but it's just, just good for your overall health. I am up for that one. I, put, put my name down, okay? I guess I smell some fishy business, but I'm gonna be on that list. I'll be like, sign me up. Salad Master Pots are made out of stainless titanium called 316 titanium, and this metal does not corrode, it does not react to chemicals that are found in our food, such as like alkaline, such as acids and other minerals. So like other pots, for example, like I'll say aluminium will probably like react to certain things that are found in your food. The main cooking method for salad master pots is waterless cooking or less water in your food and this is like to maximize the tests of the food to retain the nutrients and the cooking method also focuses on low to medium heat you are advised not to cook on high heat with these pots because that can mess up with the nutrients that are found in your food so for me the catch was the stainless steel this is stainless steel that's actually recognized in the medical industry and for me that's what sold me because there are a lot of things that we keep our food in and those materials over time leak into our foods for example there's a reason why they tell you to keep your plastic bottled waters away from the sunlight because when the sun hits those chemicals in that plastic are gonna <laughs> Lick into the water. So for me, I'm like very, I, I, I try to be healthy. Like guys, I just spend so much money on the sport. So yeah, I really try to be healthy. But I've also realized that working nine to five and living in the Western world, eating healthy can be time consuming, one, and <laughs> expensive. This is my investment in cookware. I don't think I'm ever gonna buy pots again. I don't think I'm ever gonna buy a frying pan again. I don't think I'm ever gonna buy maybe a knife or cooking utensils because it's part of the package. They're all here. I'm gonna unbox with you. I have got about 12 pieces. That is stainless. You know, it does not react with the chemicals that are found in your food because there is chemicals in the food that we eat. And it also maximizes the nutrients that are in our food it retains those nutrients by making sure that you do not cook on high heat and it also cooks faster saving energy in this our <coughs> economy that's not economy if you want to save money on your energy bills you can do that by bundling your energy services uh, gas electricity broadband even your mobile phone 
by um, switching to UW and my husband actually does that so if you need help on saving those bills you know I will put his link in the description below you guys can reach out and save some money so the first one is the food processor um <laughs> wait uh, I'm gonna try and put a picture here because so this is how it looks and you've got these uh, bits that have like different dimensions like uh, how small you want to like grate your carrots or your peppers or veg that sort of thing it also comes with a bowl here it is so this is more of like my salad bowl now they've got a lot of information in the pots uh, when you buy them and I think it's really important because we're so used to cooking like you switch on the cooker you put it on like hi boil cook 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 <laughs> right so it's it, it's kind of like one of those spots where you kind of like have to change the way you cook it's mostly low heat so that's i've got like the smallest like tiniest tiniest i usually make like oats in the morning in this one uh for me and my husband like it's kind of small i don't want a big pot um this is also one like for like smaller meals and this is also another pot this is slightly bigger i actually worked well when i lived alone because you know how much food do i need um, and the set came with like a sieve basket so if you want to steam or if you want to strain uh food that kind of thing and the good thing about salad master as well is that you barely use any oil this is a kind of cookware that eliminates oil from your diet so if you know you're going through a health situation and the doctors have said cut out oil i think this is the easiest port to kind of like implement that kind of lifestyle um and then here I've got a bigger pot. These are the pots where I can make a chicken stew. That's a 12 inch and this is also a 12 inch frying pan. As you can see that it's kind of like gotten dark because I cooked this on like a gas cooker. And this is like after a few uses, that's how the pot looks. Uh, I'm going to show you how to, to clean it with uh, the powder cleaner. They also have a powder cleaner. Which I must say is not cheap because I got this, I think it was 10 pounds, this bottle from my dealer, but it makes your your cookware shiny. This is one that I haven't opened. This is actually perfect for those jollof rice kind of situations. So all the pork, they come with uh, these small handles. I don't think I will have to use all of them. I might have to put some in storage anyway. Oh, thank God. That didn't land on my foot. Um, so that's how they look. They're also labeled Salad Master. Uh, so I'll probably like, maybe like take two of these and um, the frying pan has that handle. And if I wanted to connect this to the smaller pans that you can take off. So you've got a pot like that. So you can take it off to make it easier for you when you're cleaning. This is for party party, okay? When you've got a large group. Uh, this is probably something I won't use a lot. Maybe if I want to like batch cook. Um, I got it because I wanted to have the option of having a bigger pot. I didn't want to get, you know, the salad master pots. And then when I want to cook something massive, I'm like going to use a regular pot. So I want it to be covered in everything. So your dealer will give you options to pay in installments. Um, my dealer gave me a plan to pay over, I think it was either 12 months or 10 months. But yeah, like I just set up like a standing order and then every month I'll just pay him a certain amount. And then I've got a kettle. Uh, and it just made sense that I also get a kettle. I wanted the whole shebang. We did go all out with the knives i actually opened one knife i took out one knife because you know and we needed a knife when we moved in and guys this knife is a sharp sharp you've got the label here salad master utensils 
So the reason why I got this was that if I'm using the pots to cook, right, and there's no reaction between the metal and my food, if I'm gonna use a spatula, a metal spatula, right, it's gonna react with my food, right, because the food is hot. So I was like, okay, I need to get one of these utensils. So there's how many pieces? One, two, three, four, five, six. Pretty much everything. If you are Malawian, <laughs> say hi because yeah, this one, this one is uh, essential. This is for my days when I feel like eating sima and okra. Oof, I need to cook one of those soon. Yeah, these two, these two are definitely still going to be in. And uh, I've got a few other wooden stuff like for salads that I will still need. When it comes to food, I try. I try to be healthy. But I also know that occasionally I'll do McDonald's and stuff, but don't judge. <laughs> it's tough out here. I've been leaving work and I'm hungry and I'm tired. And nobody got time to cook. Okay, guys, let's wash these pots. Brand new. This is something that I've used maybe like six months now. But then I will show you how this will look when I wash it with this. The water is hard and if I don't dry it now, it's going to have watermarks and water stains and I just want it to look polished for now. For the utensils, the cooking utensils have this jar that I can put them in so I don't have to put them in the drawers. So I think it took me like an hour to clean everything. So all the pots that I was using before, I used the, the Salad Master stainless steel powdered cleaner. Here it is. It actually removes all the dirt. You must have seen all the black stuff that came out. Um, so this is the frying pan that I'd shown you earlier. This is the frying pan that I'd shown you earlier. This is after washing it. As you can see, there's no stains, nothing at all. And the bag is also shiny. Because the powder is quite expensive, I won't lie, yeah. I'll probably do this once a month. If I remember or every two months uh, because I don't cook a lot I also forgot to show you um, so the first time I got this pot I actually got an electric skillet so I've got smaller pots and this kind of like came in bigger version so it's got like a socket thingy there so you can see the marks let's actually wash this let me let me wash this and I, I show you how it's gonna look afterwards this is what it looks like inside all the marks are gone two things i love about salad master they've got this thing called bubble valve so what happens is that when the pots are on the cooker fire and they they have reached the highest temperature well according to them usually like in seven degrees it will start popping so that's, if you're still cooking, that's telling you to reduce the heat, reduce the heat. Um, and then once you finish cooking, it makes a water seal, like a seal around the pots. So let's say that you're cooking, you're going about the pot, you know, you're going to come back to eat it later or you've dished out and then you're just letting it cool, 
before you pack it away it forms a seal between the pot and the lid and when you come when you try to lift it off it doesn't come off and this helps keeps the food warm for a long period of time and it literally feels um, it literally seals right so what you have to do is roll it a couple of times but what I normally do is I just put my finger through here once I lift this you know air gets in and then I can open the pot but basically that's that and I also love the fact that once I clean them they look brand new um I do understand that this might not be for everybody but I just thought I should share uh, my cookware there might be other people who are interested in with the moving and settling in and parking as I do stuff I just feel like yay why not kill two birds with one stone and create content uh, with the unpacking and uh, house things I will see you guys in my next video bye